plaques that hang outside the lobby door or outside the auditorium doors and uh, the names that are going to go on those plaques are going to be announced at this time. So Mr. Hatton. And so this is just a little way of our bestowing a little bit of immortality. Or if you go out there and you see the, the names that are up there, they go back well before I was here, back into the 1990s. And once those plaques are filled, we're just going to buy new ones and, and, and fill them up as well. Those names are on display at this school. As long as this school is here. Awesome. So, uh, again, it's, I, can, I know that I can say this on my own behalf, but I know that the others will say the same thing. It's a difficult decision. You just saw all the seniors that were up here right now. Every single one of them received a little medal, but they all have their own individual reasons to be honored. And all of us want to make sure that we do our best to recognize that. But when it comes down to it, we have to choose one or two people from the classes to go up on that wall. Not an easy decision. But this year for orchestra, it was uh, it was very difficult. Uh, I handed out some other awards and I wanted to talk about every single person because they're all marvelous and wonderful. Uh, in the end, chose someone who's you know very accomplished, uh, very helpful, certainly very punctual and, and just has an ability to lead not only through playing, but just through overall attitude towards the ensemble, towards music in general, and has honored many, perhaps every group in this school over the years. So on the wall this year for orchestra, it will be Rose Rogers. said um, it, it can be a difficult decision and uh, in the tradition since I've been here just I have decided to select uh, both a guy and a girl and we'll do the same this year and as we've said this class has been extremely hard-working uh, and it was, not, it was not that there were students who stuck out as workers and those who just kind of were singers. Um, so, many, so many of the, the seniors this year really put in serious, serious time for the group and really, really care about singing a lot. And about the group a lot. And those are, those are the things that, that really, really stand out to me. I took them on a piece of paper. I just wanted to just write down a couple of my thoughts, and for both of these people who are receiving the spots on the plaques tonight, not only are they amazing leaders for their sections, they're amazing leaders for the choir, they display advanced vocal technique, they're fantastic singers, stage presence is great, they're great, you know, really, really emotional performers, and they love to sing. So these are the qualities that you want in your students. But these singers also have demonstrated qualities that show them to just be really, really incredible people. And they bring a passion for helping others. They think about the group as a whole. They're hardworking, and they're hardworking because they want to learn. And for me, that's one of the things that is so inspiring, is to see someone walk into the room and say, teach me to be better. Teach me to be better at the thing that you know how to do. And so this is one of my favorite things to witness. And students teaching each other is incredible. And these people do this. And they do it easily. It's like they do it without trying. And um, the final thing that I think they really bring to the group is a sense of joy that helps to fill the choir room with an energy that fosters meaningful artistic expression 
and an uninhibited pouring out of human emotions that is unleashed straight from what some might call his soul. And these, these two people, I am so excited to award them these honors. Um, first, I'd like to award William Dethridge. amazed me uh, with his with his drive and an interest in fostering a really really vibrant musical culture um, he's at my door every day and he's there every day to shake my hand and, and I really do appreciate it it's, it's, it's a it's, yeah mm -hmm. and to to watch someone care so much about making a difference um, really is inspiring I mean I could just I could just list on forever, you know, he plays this instrument, he plays that instrument, he's in this ensemble, he's in that ensemble. Um, he, was, he was my assistant in the middle school choir this term and was able to conduct and do all these, these really wonderful things that just allow me to feel like I'm really offering something that is important and as a teacher that it's, it's just the greatest, the greatest feeling. So, thank you all. Uh, the next person I would like to award to uh, have a place on the plaque is Jenna Kirk. Zero period choir all year long. She was in drama all year long. I mean, it was const constant participation in the arts, like obvious passion for this sort of expression. And it's just, it's, it's that same sort of thing. It's so beautiful to see as a teacher. Thank you, Jenna. sets and paint and do all those things. And I think every discipline that you see up here, orchestra, choir, drama, those things are so appreciated when people do those kinds of things that are unseen, behind the scenes. I selected a person this year who does that for band. No, he doesn't paint scenes or build sets, but he makes sure that every stand and every thing is delivered to the sports arena, whether it be football, whether it be uh, the many basketball games for boys and girls varsity, and he makes sure that the young middle schoolers and the freshmen and the, the less experienced musicians have a place to sit with them and, and mentor them. And this is what goes on in band is mentoring some people who can't have a private teacher to show them how some of the finer points of music. Uh, I usually have a lot of mentors, so it's hard to pick, but it's very easy this year to select a leader who's really helped in so many ways, whether it be arranging music, as I mentioned earlier, to accommodate our different groups, or uh, to, to bring from the outside in and leave a legacy uh, for the band. I have selected Michael Drossler. <laughs> students. Uh, I will now announce the jazz band plaque 
And since everything has already been said about what qualifications or values we want to celebrate, uh, I think I'll just let it all uh, just be in your applause to welcome uh, Tiana Week and William Dethridge for the uh, share. <laughs> We, we know how I know the evening is, is getting on, so we're, we're, we have a very 